the metatarsal bones form the scaffolding of a foot. They are the endoskeleton of a foot. They are five in number and are labeled in reverse order when compared with the metacarpals of the hand. The most medial is for the big toe and is labeled metatarsal one. This is because of the rotation of the foot during embryological development so that the big toe, which was initially most lateral like the thumb, became the most medial. The effect of this is to turn the plantar surface of the foot to its present position, dependent anatomically at its back, while the dorsum of the foot is placed in front. The second toe supports the metatarsal too. The third toe supports metatarsal three. The fourth toe supports metatarsal four. And the fifth supports metatarsal five. Metatarsal 1 is the thickest and the shortest of all the metatarsal bones. Its distinguishing feature is the groove for the perineus longus placed at its middle aspect. It also has two facets for articulating with two sesamoid bones at its plantar surface of its head, the medial and the lateral sesamoid bones. Metatarsal 2 is the metatarsal of the second toe. Its distinguishing feature are the following four articular facets at the base, one for the intermediate cuneiform, and another for the medial cuneiform. And yet another or two demi facets for the lateral cuneiform. Metatarsal 3, which is carried by the third toe, has a base that is triangular in shape. Metatarsal 4, which is carried by the fourth toe, has a unique articular facet at its base for articulating with the cuboid. Metatarsal 5 is carried by the little toe and it has a distinguishing tuberosity at its base. This is the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. It is also called the stylar process of the fifth metatarsal and it provides attachment for the perineal brevis at tertius and also for the abductor digiti minimi.